Okay guys, let's get started on this quick demo for creating um, a repeating tile pattern. So the first thing I've done to get started is I've cut a piece of tracing paper into a square pattern or square shape. That's going to be really crucial. Um, so once I've done that, I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to do so by really carefully lining up the edges, taking my finger and making a nice crease. And then I'm going to fold it in half again like that. So I've essentially done like so. So I took my square, folded it in half once, and then folded it in half again. Now I can start to set up and play with what I want to do um, in my repeating pattern fairly easily. Um, I can draw things out like so, making my decisions. Maybe I'll rework this a little bit so this comes in here. Maybe a little bit like that. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take full advantage of the fact that I'm working with tracing paper. Okay. And I'm going to trace this element here. And then I can open this up and trace like so. There's three. And then my fourth one, I can then open this up. And now I have this interior el element here that I can draw and incorporate something into. I can also double check my symmetry by going back around um, and altering things where I need to. One of these got really big. Okay. So that's kind of the nice framing element. And earlier as I was working on this, I fine-tuned it a little bit with my lotus pattern. And now, because of course this is all in graphite, I've taken a moment and transferred it to another folder and now I'm ready to cut. Um, so again, this is the repeating tile pattern. Um, and this element can be repeated over and over again in a tile pattern like so, okay? So it's really simple. You're going to need that square sheet of paper, tracing paper folded in half, fold it in half again, and then start your drawing, opening it up and adding whatever element or design you need in the center, transfer to your manila folder, and then you're ready to cut.